Numbers chapter 1. The Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tent of meeting, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they had come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take a census of the whole congregation of Israelites, in their clans, by ancestral houses, according to the number of names, every male individually, from twenty years old and upward, everyone in Israel able to go to war. You and Aaron shall enroll them, company by company. A man from each tribe shall be with you, each man the head of his ancestral house. These are the names of the men who shall assist you. From Reuben, Elizur, son of Shedeur, from Simeon, Shalumiel, son of Zerashadai, from Judah, Nashon, son of Amenadab, from Issachar, Nathanael, son of Zuar, from Zebulun, Eliab, son of Helon, from the sons of Joseph, from Ephraim, Elishama, son of Amahud, from Manasseh, Gamaliel, son of Padezer, from Benjamin, Abadan, son of Gideoni, from Dan, Ahiezer, son of Amashadai, from Asher, Pagiel, son of Okran, from Gad, Elisaph, son of Deu, from Naphtali, Ahira, son of Enon. These were the ones chosen from the congregation, the leaders of their ancestral tribes, the heads of the divisions of Israel. Moses and Aaron took these men who had been designated by name, and on the first day of the second month they assembled the whole congregation together. They registered themselves in their clans, by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and upward, individually, as the Lord commanded Moses. So he enrolled them in the wilderness of Sinai. The descendants of Reuben, Israel's firstborn, their lineage in their clans, by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names, individually, every male from twenty years old and upward, everyone able to go to war, those enrolled of the tribe of Reuben, were 46,500. The descendants of Simeon, their lineage, in their clans, by their ancestral houses, those of them that were numbered, according to the number of names, individually, every male from twenty years old and upward, everyone able to go to war, those enrolled of the tribe of Simeon were 59,300. The descendants of Gad, their lineage, in their clans, by their ancestral houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, everyone able to go to war, those enrolled of the tribe of Gad were 45,650. The descendants of Judah, their lineage, in their clans, by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and upward, everyone able to go to war, those enrolled of the tribe of Judah were seventy-four thousand six hundred. The descendants of Issachar, their lineage, in their clans, by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and upward, everyone able to go to war, those enrolled of the tribe of Issachar, were fifty-four thousand four hundred. The descendants of Zebulun, their lineage, in their clans, by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and upward, everyone able to go to war, those enrolled of the tribe of Zebulun, were fifty-seven thousand four hundred. The descendants of Joseph, namely the descendants of Ephraim, their lineage in their clans, by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and upward, everyone able to go to war, those enrolled of the tribe of Ephraim were 40,500. The descendants of Manasseh, their lineage in their clans, by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and upward, everyone able to go to war, those enrolled of the tribe of Manasseh, were 32,200. 
the descendants of Benjamin, their lineage, in their clans, by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and upward, everyone able to go to war, those enrolled of the tribe of Benjamin, were thirty-five thousand four hundred. The descendants of Dan, their lineage, in their clans, by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and upward, every one able to go to war, those enrolled of the tribe of Dan were sixty two thousand seven hundred. The descendants of Asher, their lineage, in their clans, by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and upward, every one able to go to war, those enrolled of the tribe of Asher were forty one thousand five hundred. The descendants of Naphtali, their lineage, in their clans, by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and upward, every one able to go to war. Those enrolled of the tribe of Naphtali were fifty three thousand four hundred. These are those who were enrolled, whom Moses and Aaron enrolled with the help of the leaders of Israel, twelve men, each representing his ancestral house. So the whole number of the Israelites, by their ancestral houses, from twenty years old and upward, every one able to go to war in Israel, their whole number was six hundred three thousand five hundred fifty. The Levites, however, were not numbered by their ancestral tribe along with them. The Lord had said to Moses, Only the tribe of Levi you shall not enroll and you shall not take a census of them with the other Israelites. Rather, you shall appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of the covenant, and over all its equipment, and over all that belongs to it. They are to carry the tabernacle and all its equipment, and they shall tend it, and shall camp around the tabernacle. When the tabernacle is to set out, the Levites shall take it down, and when the tabernacle is to be pitched, the Levites shall set it up. And any outsider who comes near shall be put to death. The other Israelites shall camp in their respective regimental camps by companies. But the Levites shall camp around the tabernacle of the covenant, that there may be no wrath on the congregation of the Israelites. And the Levites shall perform the guard duty of the tabernacle of the covenant. The Israelites did so. They did just as the Lord commanded Moses. Numbers chapter 2. The Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, The Israelites shall camp each in their respective regiments, under ensigns by their ancestral houses. They shall camp facing the tent of meeting on every side. Those to camp on the east side toward the sunrise shall be of the regimental encampment of Judah by companies. The leader of the people of Judah shall be Nashon, son of Amenadab, with a company as enrolled of 74,600. Those to camp next to him shall be the tribe of Issachar. The leader of the Issacharites shall be Nathanael, son of Zuar, with a company as enrolled of 54,400. Then the tribe of Zebulun. The leader of the Zebulonites shall be Eliab, son of Helon, with a company as enrolled of 57,400. The total enrollment of the camp of Judah by companies is 186,400. They shall set out first on the march. On the south side shall be the regimental encampment of Reuben by companies. The leader of the Reubenites shall be Elizer, son of Shedur, with a company as enrolled of 46,500. And those to camp next to him shall be the tribe of Simeon. The leader of the Simeonites shall be Shalumiel, son of Zerushaddai, with a company as enrolled of 59,300. Then the tribe of Gad. The leader of the Gadites shall be Elisaph, son of Reuel, with a company as enrolled of 45,650. The total enrollment of the camp of Reuben by companies is 151,450. They shall set out second. 
The tent of meeting with the camp of the Levites shall set out in the center of the camps. They shall set out just as they camp, each in position by their regiments. On the west side shall be the regimental encampment of Ephraim by companies. The leader of the people of Ephraim shall be Elishama, son of Amahud, with a company as enrolled of 40,500. Next to him shall be the tribe of Manasseh. The leader of the people of Manasseh shall be Gamaliel, son of Pedazer, with a company as enrolled of 32,200. Then the tribe of Benjamin. The leader of the Benjaminites shall be Abadan, son of Gideoni, with a company as enrolled of 35,400. The total enrollment of the camp of Ephraim by companies is 108,100. They shall set out third on the march. On the north side shall be the regimental encampment of Dan by companies. The leader of the Danites shall be Ahezer, son of Amishadai, with a company as enrolled of 62,700. Those to camp next to him shall be the tribe of Asher. The leader of the Asherites shall be Pagel, son of Akron, with a company as enrolled of 41,500. Then the tribe of Naphtali, the leader of the Naphtalites, shall be Ahira, son of Enan, with a company as enrolled of 53,400. The total enrollment of the camp of Dan is 157,600. They shall set out last by companies. This was the enrollment of the Israelites by their ancestral houses. The total enrollment in the camps by their companies was 603,550, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. The Levites were not enrolled among the other Israelites. The Israelites did just as the Lord had commanded Moses. They camped by regiments, and they set out the same way, every one by clans, according to ancestral houses.